I'm going to do is I think maybe it was last week or so I figured out how to put the synthetic, you could probably do natural, but uh, these are synthetic rubies, and I figured out how to cast them in place using the 60 minute burnout oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did it. So we have, we're actually going to do two rings and one pendant because we're going to try a bunch of different stones as a test just to see what happens. Um, and we're also, I'm going to open one up here. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. Sometimes you have to go in with a scalpel, exacto blade. Cut away a little bit that kind of little flashing in there, but uh, that's pretty good wax. So first thing we want to do, can break that off. Then we're going to take a burr. We have to open up the eyes. Try and do it right in the center. Back side, you want to kind of clean this up. And a good way to do that, you can take something a little bigger. That's way too big. <laughs> and maybe this will work. You don't even need to put it in your Flex shaft, you can just turn it with your finger. So, then, got a little piece of uh, beeswax. This helps to pick up the stones. That's going to sit down like that. So now what we want to do is we're going to cut a little seat for the girdle to sit in. And that we're going to use a little heart burr, something smaller than the stone. And we're just going to find, you want to make sure it's with wax. I mean, you want to make it straight. can kind of push it in there if you have to. Do that on both sides. So we're just cutting a little notch. And then we're going to take our stone Push it in right into the notch. We'll get this heating so it starts heating up. There. So now they're nice and flat. Want to make sure they're nice and flat and even and that they're both in the they both look the same. So the next thing to do I guess it's going to take a minute for that to heat up. Pull this little 
longer than I thought, but we just want to add a little bit. Just build it up a little bit, make it look even. So if you're not doing a video, you can really take your time, do a nice job with this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this with all the waxes. I'm just using, this is like a wood burning type uh, pin, but it works great for this. And that's how that looks. I've set up two of these already. This one I sprued from the shank and this actually casts well sprueing it down here uh, because the shank is heavy enough. But really the, the best way to do it is to do it off the forehead because the bottom part is so much bigger than the shank. So I've done it like that. Now, the next thing is if you look at these, I clean these up really nice. And so after you put the, the wax on, on around the stone, you need to take and cut it back like this. Scrape it off, doesn't hurt the stone. I mean, you can be careful with it, but you wanna clean it up. It's gonna be a lot easier to clean up now than after it's cast. In fact, after it's cast, most likely you are going to hurt the stone. So this is how it's done. And then the next thing that will that'll happen is the way these are set up is I take this 3 8 inch wax. I'm going to start selling this wax, but if you don't have any you can just get you can order some 3 8 inch. Push that down in like that. Then after you've cleaned up everything, I, I take and I build up around the sprue and I make it so it's nice and smooth so that the metal's going to flow easily. And then I take this and I push it down into the center And then I push that down in and I seal all the way around it. And then you end up having it look like that. And that's all there is to it. So the next video, or the next part of the video, we will do it with when we put these on and we'll, we'll invest. Up here because everybody asks me what kind of investment. So it's either this one or there's one with a red label. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sell their product, it's just what I use. So. <laughs> Put that down there. And so what we're doing is the stone in place, we got two skull rings here. And then what's really cool about these is each one uses about a quarter of a pound of investment. So what I've done 
is I've set this up and I've, I've put just a little extra over the quarter pound each, just to make sure. I've already got the water weighed out. That's in here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna dump it in there. See, that's why you have these flexible bowls. You can spread it open like that. And I made a mistake again. And I don't know where I, ha I had it here. Uh, my, my respirator. So, dang it. <laughs> just seems to be how it goes. Well, with you. Now, it's really interesting, but if I go by what the, the website says as far as weighing the water and weighing the investment, it's always like paste. That looks like chalk. It will not work. Maybe it has to do with Tucson, the dry weather, I don't know. But I always put a little extra in there. So now it's great. I mean, this is, uh, but I had to, uh, I had to change the, the amount of water to get it, to get it correct. So, um, people don't like it when you say this, but to me, that is kind of like pancake batter. Okay. Have an audience. <laughs> We're gonna put this in here. Just like that. And this is really fast. See how quick that was? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you wanna tip these on their side. Here, I'll come around. That would help. That would help, yeah. By pouring it this way, you're not gonna break the waxes off. Okay, there's one. <laughs> At least he's not playing music. <laughs> yeah. Careful what you say. You might get yourself in trouble later on on the internet. <laughs> okay. So now we get that filled. We're going to put both of these in here. And when you do it, you want to grab it from the rubber base. Because otherwise the flask will pull out and you'll make a big mess. So put that in. Watch it there. Now, if they were bigger flasks, we'd do this for a long time. But with these tiny flasks, it just doesn't take that long to get the air out. Now what we got to do, grab it from the bottom. Okay. We have to add a little extra. And now we're going to let this dry for about two hours. thing we got to do is pop the bottoms off, take off the tape, clean off the extra investment. So start with this one. 
I take a, a dull knife, just go around the edge. like that. I've been writing on the side what it is so I know what I'm going to be casting. Pop the bottom off. I like to smooth this with my finger or thumb. There's one. Maybe take off your finger, too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't use a sharp knife. <laughs> Make sure it's really dull. But you want to make sure this is about a minimum of sixteenth of an inch below this edge here. So you'll get a better vacuum. The reason I kind of round that is so that when you pour the metal, it doesn't hit a, an edge and break it off. There's that one. And really, I like to uh, take the tape off and the bottom off probably after it's been uh, hard, after, after it's hardened for maybe an hour because um, it allows the bottom part to to get some air into it dry out a little more there we go so See, we'll take this one. You know, lately I've been drilling them so that the vacuum goes all the way down the side and it's been working really well. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go drill this. Follow me. I got the crazy bike in the way. Move that. Get a really small one. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, right. Right against the edge of the flask. Now it's going in the steamer. A few people told me not to drill it, but so far it's worked great. Whole side down, just like that. As you can see, I've already got water in there. Do it for half an hour. So now we're going to take it out of the steamer. It's going to be a little warm. Want to have a towel or a glove. You can see all the wax that's come out. I kind of wipe that off a little bit. And 
take and put this into here. Put our little burnout unit on top. Try and get it kind of centered. And then what I do is every time I do some sort of casting, uh, and this has to do with stone in place, I write every single thing down so that the next time, if I'm successful, I know exactly what to do. So we're going to start this on number five. And it's going to go, this one may go for, for 65, maybe 70 minutes. We'll have to, we'll see how it's reacting here as far as the temperature. Okay. Yeah, we're at about an hour, a little over an hour. And that's about 7.20, 7.30. about stone in place uh -oh. is that the flask has to cool to the point that I can pick it up with my hand without getting burned. So it's going to have to cool for about an hour before we can reveal if the, I think this one has synthetic alexandrite. We're not going to know until, until over an hour from now. Now that they've cooled, and you have to be to the point where you can pick them up in your hands. And that's because there's stones inside there, and if you quench them too soon, you'll break them. So what we want to do is take both of these and just put them in a container of water. We're just going to leave it in there for about 10 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to take them out. <laughs> We got to take a it's kind of a dull pocket knife. We're just going to dig them out. Hope like heck we got them. Okay. We need a toothbrush or something, but <laughs> making a mess, but it looks like the stones are there. So these are synthetic alexandrite in the eyes in that one. And then we're going to, we'll, might as well dig this one out. What we'll have to do is I'll have to clean these up 
so that you can actually, so we can get a better shot of them. Probably put them in the ultrasonic. This is real messy. These are synthetic emerald. <laughs> That's the truck next door <laughs> in reverse. It makes a beeping sound. So there we go. We got stone in place. Uh, these were investment cast. And so looks like we got good castings. And we'll clean them up and go from there. Okay, so we... Uh, I clean these up with the ultrasonic, and then I put them in the pickle, and they cleaned up really well. Stones still have their brilliance, and they look really good. So, I was mistaken. This is a synthetic sapphire and synthetic emerald.